Dive deep into timeless tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts. Your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversations. Lecture 19. Unveiling Ezekiel. Exile, Divine Presence, and Renewal. This lecture focuses on the prophet Ezekiel, who was deported from Jerusalem during the Babylonian invasion of Judah in 597 BC. While Jeremiah prophesied in Jerusalem, Ezekiel lived among the exiles in Babylon for 10 years. When Jerusalem was destroyed in 587 BC, Ezekiel remained with the exiles for another 15 years, experiencing a profound sense of dislocation. The book of Ezekiel can be understood through two main themes. First is abandonment. Under Ezekiel chapter 1 to 32 and homecoming under Ezekiel chapter 33 to 33 to 48. The lecture begins with Ezekiel's vision of God on a chariot. This visionary experience, filled with surreal and explosive imagery, effects four unique creatures with wings, human hands, and multiple faces, pulling a chariot that represents God's throne. The vision emphasizes that God is not confined to the Jerusalem temple, but is present with the exiles in Babylon. Ezekiel revitalizes the tradition of God journeying with the people. Ezekiel's initial vision leads him to the task of prophesying to unwilling listeners. In subsequent chapters, he communicates messages of lament, grief, and woe through visions that provoke opposition. Ezekiel warns about the consequences of idolatry and foretells the abandonment of Jerusalem by God due to the people's abandonment of him. He witnesses a vision of slaughter where only those who refuses, refuse idolatry are spared and questions the extent of God's destruction. In a significant shift, Ezekiel reframes the tragic events as resulting from the failures of human leadership rather than divine punishment. He employs the metaphor of a shepherd to critique the self-serving practices of Israel's leaders who have neglected the welfare of the people. <coughs> God portrayed as the true shepherd promises to gather the, the scattered and care for the impoverished. The vision suggests that these commitments will manifest politically through a Davidic king who embodies the ideals of good leadership. Ezekiel's exploration of renewal leads to his most famous vision, the dry bones. In this vision, Ezekiel sees a valley filled with lifeless bones, and God asks if these bones can live again. Through Ezekiel's prophesying, the bones come together, are covered with flesh and skin, and receive the best of life. This vision symbolizes the restoration of a shattered and displaced people. Despite the absence of an immediate golden age, Ezekiel raises the question of restoration for the people. His visions provide hope for the future, highlighting God's presence, critique of failed leadership, and the potential for renewal and return. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. Continue with us in our Bible as Literatures series. Unearth stories and symbols in a fresh literary light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner. Thank you for watching Unveiling Ezekiel, Exile, Divine Presence, and Renewal.
We journeyed with the prophet through visions of despair and messages of hope. Ezekiel's dramatic prophecies from the glory of God's mobile throne to the valley of the dry bones remind us that renewal is always within reach. In the face of destruction and loss, Ezekiel taught us that the resilience and transformation are born from steadfast faith and divine promise. Join us next time as we continue to explore the depth of Jewish heritage and exploring Jewish heritage identity formation and rebuilding Jerusalem. Discover the rebuilding of a nation and the rekindling of an identity forged through adversity. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to stay updated on our latest lectures. Share your thoughts in the comments below and engage with the community. May you find insight for today's world in the wisdom of the past. Until next time, keep seeking, keep learning, and keep growing.